Well, just to round my day off, I thought we'd uh, just crack this open, four screws at the bottom, cut through the label, pop the top off, obviously as you'd expect, not a hell of a lot in there. Uh, some minutes have gone by, I've just been on the phone to a company and I shall probably be turning that conversation into a video uh, over the next day or two as well. It involves a uh, big alarm company, but I'll tell you about that separately. Um, I noticed that this was stinking hot, so I put my thermocouple on it probably five, six minutes after it had been turned off. And this transformer's at uh, 50 degrees, so uh, pretty hot. Uh, just a very simple circuit board, not a hell of a lot going on in there. But uh, my favourite, or <laughs> one of my favourite bleats about any piece of equipment that needs to be earthed. Totally loose earth connections. It's taken nothing to uh, loosen these off. One obviously goes to the IEC socket and the other one goes straight to the irons uh, socket here. I just hate seeing this sort of thing. There's just no excuse for it. Uh, the laminations on this transformer are varnished and I'm just going to take this screw out and just see if this has been done up onto varnish or is that you know is that the reason it's so loose well you've got a pretty standard screw there going into the plastic the varnish is still on the laminations there is a lock washer on there I'm just going to see how tight we can actually get that my feeling is it's just going to rip out of the plastic in fact it could have been secured quite tightly like that that's quite a fine thread on that screw and I've put a hell of a lot of pressure onto that I suspect the others might be as loose yeah yeah they're all loose so no doubt that was going to end up buzzing away at some point really loose I doubt they've even put much pressure to close up the spring uh, lock washers so that's what I would class as secure now although you can still move it if you press it hard but as you saw it was very very loose indeed yeah not impressed I've got a good mind to just box that up and send it back to uh, the company it came from and say it's absolute bloody rubbish I do not want it in my workshop <laughs> refund me if you want <laughs> if you don't well it's another lesson learned it's strange because I have other equipment by the same company and uh, it's uh, worked far better than that fact that they are secured just by some sort of rivet arrangement that is then just sheared. don't think this will focus. But... Oh yeah, there you go. It's just uh, sheared straight off and I wasn't hitting it hard. You can probably tell that on the film. And yes, I probably shouldn't have hit it at all. But honestly, if they can't hold you know if they can't be tapped around like that then they're going to break off the very first time you drop them or bang them into something accidentally uh, absolute rubbish and uh, these really were not much better anyway I'll uh, get all that boxed up and I'll catch you later